don't understand why you would want to meddle with Matthew's parents' relationship. It's sick. I don't want any part of it. Okay, okay, forget I said anything. No, 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 you've gone way too far for that. For once in your life, you're going to come clean. Tell me exactly what's going on. Oh, leave it, Daniel. Who's Alex Gray? Who's Alex Gray? What's going on, Zara? Hi, it's Alex Gray. Everybody, everybody, let's get into it. Get Perhaps we could focus on the job in hand. Um, Mock-up build is nearly there. We're going to rig the charges once we've waited those for Daddy? Hmm? Daddy? What? <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, you might like to wish me luck. Luck? Oh, they're the lucky ones. Lucky to have you. <laughs> what wards have they put you on? Surgery firm, I did tell you. Oh, it's a good hospital. I know. Your mother would be proud of you. You starting at the hospital? Today, of all days, it's fate. <sighs> Daddy. Providence. She's up there watching over you. Looking down on me. Don't slouch, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years, where's it gone? I want to give you something. <laughs> she was very fond of this. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're all grown up. I'm losing you. I thought you could buy me dinner. Mummy's anniversary, my celebration. Alex, I would love to, but I'm working late. You are always working late. I know. Ian and I are meeting a very big supplier to discuss the new fire prevention system. There it is. Hey, hey. Come on. I'll walk you out. You nervous? <laughs> no. You are allowed to be. Still getting your headaches. You are working too hard. Don't fuss. You promised to take time off. I will. As soon as the system is up and running. Daddy. Oh, Alex, I have to be here. Working with Ian. Leading the team. At least go and have some tests. I'll pull some strings at the hospital. If you ever get there. <laughs> We're finalising the ratios. 60-40 isn't fail-safe with propane. Then don't burn propane in the demonstration. Orders are backing up, Patrick. And we still don't have a safety certificate yet. I'll ring you later. <sighs> Try not to kill anyone. Look, I've got clients arriving in three hours. Now, if you can't handle things, I can always delegate. I've worked hard for this. We all have. No, no, I've taken your concerns on board. I'll talk to Jen about them later. Can you be careful with that stuff? It's expensive. Wait up. Heard about the new job? <laughs> Is there anyone he hasn't told? We should uh, have that drink to celebrate. You don't give up easily, do you? <laughs> I'll blow a man for trying. OK. What? This is the bit where you say you'll pick me up at seven. I'll pick you up at seven. Casualty department, you can't miss it. Well, I'll hover by the ambulances. <laughs> What's he looking so pleased about? A hot date. You could do so much better. Yeah, it's one drink, I'm not going to marry the guy. 
Look, I'm glad I bumped into you. Really? My dad's exhausted. Well, when Jed gets fixated on a pet project... He shouldn't be exerting himself, not with his medical history. Well, you're the doctor. You try telling him that. I just worry about him, that's all. Well, I'll keep an eye on him. Don't always. Uh, I should do. Justice. Justice? This trial's a sham. They've marked you down as a guilty man. They don't care what it costs. I didn't mean there was no... Alex. Alex, no. Alex. I'm here to gloat. Here to give evidence. Then tell them what really happened. Tell them the truth. I'll tell the jury what I told the police. A pack of lies! Look at what you've done to him. Look, do you think I'm glad about what happened? Do you think I wouldn't go back and change it all? Tell the truth, please. There's still time. I've got too much to lose, Alex. Don't think you've met my wife. We both have a conscience to live with. The heat exchangers still aren't being maximized to their full potential, meaning they're not working properly. I've mentioned my concerns to Ian. And you just thought you'd go over my head. I've conferred with the technical team. They're all agreed we have to postpone the demo. All our hard work will have counted for nothing. Patrick, I wonder if you'd mind leaving us alone for a moment. That man has a bad attitude. If Patrick had concerns, why didn't you come to me earlier? I've been working on our itinerary. All our projections for the next financial year are based entirely on declarations of interest. I'm only too aware of that. We're up to our eyes in debt, Jed. But it's a question of ethics. Oh, to hell with ethics! This is business! If we don't get firm orders, we might go under. I can't tout a safety system that isn't totally reliable, Ian. I won't. OK. I'll tell the clients We've got licensing issues. Good. Jeff, if this contract is stressing you out, let me deal with it. I'm fine. It's just a headache. I spoke to Alex. She was concerned. She had no cause to be. I just need some air. I'll join you for the meeting. Yes. Oh. Uh, right. Um, show them round the workshop. We'll come straight down. Donna? It's Jed. Anyone on speakerphone? Yes. Um, the Hamburg delegation arrived early. I take full responsibility.
She's dead, Alex. Your mother's, Your mother's dead. dead. Alex. Alex? Daddy? Alex. I got the neurology appointment. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was fast. Pulling strings already? Tomorrow at 10. Tomorrow? No, I can't do tomorrow. No, it's hectic here. I told you that. You can see where I work. Ugh. I can never say no to her. <laughs> She's certainly a challenge. Do you think you could handle the boss's daughter? Uh, <laughs> that's not a question I should really answer. <laughs> you want me? We need to make a decision about the demo. I'll have to let the fire department know. Yeah, I've discussed it with Ian. We're agreed it can't go ahead. Patrick, why didn't we pick up on these flaws earlier? It's a prototype. We'll get it right. Fifteen years I've been building up this business. Without those orders, it could all count for nothing. What makes our system revolutionary is the unique combination of dowsing materials. Uh, John, thank you. The sprinklers will extinguish all flammable liquids and gases. What the hell are you playing at? You're showing us up in front of the clients. I don't care about the clients. We also outperform all conventional systems when tested on electrical fires and combustible metals, as we will demonstrate. The results have proved conclusive. Trip the sprinklers manually. Use the override. Oh. Patrick! Patrick! Get out of there! Patrick! Patrick! <coughs> Patrick! Keep the one. I know him. What happened? It's so really dangerous. He always knows best. Is my dad okay? Come on, out. It's so Patrick! Out. The jury's out. At least your mother isn't here to see this. You are not going to go to prison. Never thought I'd live another day as bad as that one. Daddy, you need to stay focused. I should never have left the harbour. <laughs> your mother. She could always convince me of anything. This is not the time. But I could see the weather was turning. Yeah, I remember that much. Daddy, please don't. So little of Frances left. When I look at you, I see her. If they lock me up, I'll lose you both. They are not going to lock you up. They can't, because you're innocent. I need that report by the end of the day. Sean, nobody leaves without making a statement. Why are you taking him? He's helping the police with their inquiries. What happened? There was an accident. Patrick... I've just seen Patrick. Some of the technicians had concerns over safety issues. Apparently, Jed saw fit to override those concerns. He'd never put anyone in danger, you know that. Health and safety, that's all we need. Where are you going? To be with my dad.
Five minutes. <clears throat> They're saying I made a phone call. I didn't make any phone call. Daddy, you could have been killed. We agreed that the demo couldn't go ahead. I don't know what Ian was thinking Daddy, of. this is serious. They are talking about pressing charges. It's a misunderstanding. I just need to speak to Ian. Try not to get worked up. Worked up? All I can think about is this damned headache. Patrick Wires just died in hospital. No. 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 Jed Gray, I'm arresting you on suspicion of manslaughter. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. You should think about getting yourself a lawyer. Today's the final day of a manslaughter trial at Leatherbridge Crown Court. The managing director of Shawproof Systems is accused of causing the death of an employee in August of last year. If convicted, Jed Gray could face up to 10 years in prison. Finance director Ian Lester is also facing charges under the Health and Safety Act. My father would never jeopardise the safety of his workforce. Your loyalty is touching, but I'm not sure it would hold up in court. But ask anyone who works for him. They'll tell you the same thing. I have a signed statement from three employees specifically stating that your father ordered the demonstration to go ahead. They must be mistaken. The call was overheard on speakerphone. It was made from the MD's extension. They must have misheard. You can't hear yourself think in that place. The business was in trouble. The business was busy. The books were full. There were cash flow issues. Your father was under pressure. That doesn't make him guilty of manslaughter. Mr Gray has a medical condition. Anterior grade amnesia. Resulting from a head injury. Our boat capsized. My mother died. Common symptoms include confusion, forgetfulness. A plea for diminished responsibility could help his case. He didn't make that phone call. Ian, you told the police about my father's condition. They wanted a statement. I wasn't about to lie to them. But they've arrested an innocent man and you're just walking away. They're charging me too. Patrick said Ian knew best. What did he mean? Patrick was in shock. Patrick's dead. You went ahead with that demonstration despite my father's warnings. If the system was dangerous, then Jed has to face up to his failings. Your father isn't infallible, Alex. None of us are. You made that call. You've got to tell them the truth, Ian. But... They've reached a verdict. With an insurance policy? I'm trying to salvage what's left of the company. He trusted you. The future of the firm was at stake. I gambled. 
If Jed had any balls, he'd do the same thing. Look, talk to the police. Tell them what really happened. Where would that leave me? My father could go to prison. It won't come to that. Look, they have witnesses. They have a motive. Please. What can I do about it? And why should I? I'd do anything to help him. Anything. I'm offering you a deal. You know about deals, don't you, Ian? Go, please. I tried to make him tell the truth. I tried to save you, Daddy. No. Oh. Go to the police together. You can tell them it was an oversight. I don't know what you're talking about. What? This encounter never happened. But you let me. I used you. I took advantage. It was worth the wait, <laughs> but it's not worth going to prison for. You conniving. I've got a wife. Two kids. I will go to the police myself. I will tell them what happened. And Daddy would find out about this little stunt. You're disgusting. What does that make you? Don't take me on ice. You'll never win. We'll see. Ian Lester made that phone call. And when did this come to light? This afternoon. He told me he confessed to everything. You've got to bring him in again for questioning. It's been a long day. He tried to blackmail me. To cover up for what he's done. That's a serious accusation. I take it you can prove this. Go home. Get some sleep. This isn't helping anyone. He didn't do it! My father didn't do it! A Birmingham businessman has been sentenced to ten years in prison after being found guilty of manslaughter by gross negligence. Patrick Wire was killed in a blaze at Shawproof Systems, an award-winning manufacturer of safety equipment. Reflecting on the severity of the sentence, the judge ruled that his employer, Jed Gray, had brazenly flouted safety procedures for short-term financial gain. Mr Gray's business partner, Ian Lester, was cleared of all charges. He made a brief statement outside court. The sentencing of Jed Gray has left me shocked and saddened. My sympathies go out to the family of Patrick Wire. Mm. I will now consider my position as partner of Shoreproof Systems and its future as a viable enterprise. Thank you. We'll appeal. I am not giving up on this, Daddy. 
I will make him pay for what he's done. He will know what it feels to hurt like this. She's dead, Alex. Your mother's dead. What are we going to do? I want you to take this back. No, no. Yes, no. yes, to remember us by. And I'll wear it again when all this is over. I will make him pay for what he's done. He will know what it feels to hurt like this. Well, I hope you've been looking after yourself. You look a bit run down to me. What are you doing? I just so wound up. I just thought... What sex? What do you think about internet dating? Well, I, I've done it once, but it didn't work for me. This isn't about your concerns for my character. This is about your wounded pride. Wake up. Dad, she needs help. A mistaken identity and a JB Fletcher.